Hello friends, myself Dr. Atules Nakpure and today I am going to discuss a very important concept in a chemistry which is known as Green Chemistry Principle. Green Chemistry sometimes is also referred as a Sustainable Chemistry and this deals with preparation of product or design of method that does not use any hazardous compound and does not lead to generation of any toxic chemicals also. The green chemistry term has been put forward by Paul and Stars from US and he gave a 12 principle and that is also called as a green chemistry principle. Now we will discuss this principle step by step. The first principle we have waste prevention. By green chemistry rule, if you are not generating any kind of waste during the process is always good because prevention is a nice step instead of cleaning and cleaning generated waste. So if it is possible, don't design the method which involves some kind of waste generation. The second one we have atom economy. Atom economy means incorporation of all the atoms from the reactor into the desired product. Say for example, you are using three different types of reactor and three different reactor are giving only one product. But if you are to convert all the atoms from the reactor into your desired product, that process will have 100% atom economy. The point to be noted here, the moment you achieve 100% atom economy, that time you will not have any generation of the waste. The third one we have less hazardous synthesis. While conducting a reaction, don't use hazardous reactor. Okay? Also, the reaction should not involve use of toxic reagent also. Moreover, your product formation should not have any toxic nature even. The fourth one we have safe chemical design. When you design a process which involves formation of variety of chemicals, but all the chemicals should not have any bad effect on environment and also on the human health. The fifth one we have benign solvent and organic. Benign solvent is a safe solvent. But if you don't want to use the solvent and reactions are going in a proper manner, you should not use solvent unnecessarily. But sometimes we require a solvent. In such cases, the things to should be keep in the mind that solvent behave as a inert in nature because it has been observed in a many chemical reaction that solvent shows a reactive nature and it can react with the reactant as well as with the product. Furthermore, the studies also reveal that solvent can decrease the reactivity of the used catalyst also. Next one we have energy efficiency. If it is possible to conduct reaction at ambient temperature and ambient pressure is good. Since generation of the heat, generation of the heat requires power. Moreover, if you wanted to 
create a pressure also it requires equipment that means remember that if you are designing the process you have to design in a such a manner that it should go at ambient temperature and the ambient pressure if it is possible the seventh one we have renewable feedstock as you all aware that universe whole universe is totally dependent upon fossil fuel coal oil natural gas in order to meet their daily needs imagine one day one day will arise in which all fossil fuel all coal all natural gas get finished then what start thinking now on which shows that using a fossil fuel which is not renewable source it can cause a serious damage in the near future that's why you need to accelerate your efforts in a such a way that it involves use of renewable resources renewable resources like biomass biomass is a non fossil biodegradable organic compound obtained from the plant and animal so instead of using non fossil instead of using fossilized compound you have to do your method in order to use renewable feedstock then eight one we have reduce use of derivatives in may then it has been observed that we always use some extra steps for instance you are performing one kind of reaction and you require protective group say for alcohol but point to be remember here at the end of the reaction it is need to remove that protective group and during that process it may generate extra waste even so if it is possible don't go for longer step don't create method which in our multi stage process and avoid preparation of derivatives ninth one we have catalysis as you are aware that catalyst is a substance which boosts the rate of the reaction and does not get consumed during the course of the reaction catalyst is a very important material that can increase the rate and if possible always use the catalyst because catalyst with the help of the catalyst we can have a to conduct the reaction at a lower temperature and lower pressure as well the tenth one we have design for degradation you have design a nice compound it performs activity then you dump somewhere and you don't bother after use the things to be keep in the mind after using that compound the compound should get decomposed easily right because if this compound does not get decomposed it may lead to the environment bad effect so design the process design the chemical which decomposes fastly in the environment and we have real time analysis now the real time analysis term gives a very important aspect of monitoring the reaction in a short interval of time what happened 
Suppose if you are doing a 10 hour reaction and if you are not analyzing the compound which form during the course, you may lose important information regarding that particular reaction. So that's why the analytical method should design which can help to analyze the sample or reaction mixture in a short interval also because based upon that knowledge we can make a changes in an existing reaction or we can modify the same reaction in the future. Twelfth one we have inherent safe chemistry. Inherent safe chemistry as you are aware that sometimes in a chemistry chemical catch fire it goes explosion and lead to the accident whatever you are planning but the chemicals a compound material substance whatever we are using that should ensure the safety precaution first so finally we have discussed a 12 different principles of the green chemistry and if you follow all 12 principles of green chemistry you will assure human health safety as well as environment health safety even. Thank you very much for watching. Signing off, Dr. Tulnakore.